Exit polls have been around since the 1960s. Fox News has been using them for nearly 20 years. But now we are making a change to Fox News voter analysis. Here to explain what that is and how it all works, Fox News night at night anchor Shannon Bream and the director of the Fox News decision team, Arnon Michigan. Okay, Arnon, first to you. Just to explain in simple terms what we're doing, what this change is. Okay, so we decided after 2016 that we needed with the, gro the huge growth of absentee voters and early voters, and we've, we're seeing that right now in, in the data, with the fact that in the 20, 2018, over six of the top 11 Senate races are, gonna be, are being held in, in states where over two-thirds of the vote is coming early. We decided we needed a different approach. These are voters who never exit a poll. They just vote early. And but, so you can't exit poll someone who doesn't exit a poll. We are not doing an exit poll. Our objective is to come up with an understanding of why people voted the way they did. And we believe our new system is going to do that. And what we're going to do, just a, just a brief description, is we're having a huge survey conducted on, by phone and online of over 125,000 Americans in our national sample. That compares to what we used to do, which was present a survey of about 25,000. That will enable us to show a lot more detailed, granular data about the electorate. And most important, we're going to have specific cross-tab results in all 47 states where there are uh, statewide elections, which we think is very important. One of the lessons of 2016 is the polling got it right. Hillary Clinton was headed to a significant 2% two-point victory in the national popular vote. What it got wrong was at the state level. And we need to measure state by state, because that's how America votes, state by state, how people are thinking and why they're thinking that way. I mean, I think this is a really big deal because there, as you said, it was 25,000 people in the exit polls. This is 125,000 people, and it's reaching them on the internet, on cell phones, and on their landlines mm -hmm. because everybody knows that, you know, not that many people use their landline anymore, Shannon. That's true. And like Arnon said, it's starting ahead of the day of the election. So it starts Saturday, runs through when the polls close on Tuesday. So you're getting all those people who voted early along with those who decided to turn out that day. The level of detail state by state is so interesting. We're going to be able to tell people in West Virginia how much the coal industry mattered to people in their votes. In places like Indiana, West Virginia, some other hot spots with senators, how they voted on Kavanaugh and whether or not that swayed voters one way or another. And it also takes a look at people who didn't vote. So we're asking them, why didn't you? Why didn't you engage this time? Why just stay home? So it measures the economy, immigration, all kinds of things, state by state, ages, race, backgrounds, to give us a lot more data about what's driving people's votes. And you'll have those stories throughout the night. And then for the decision desk, Arnon, uh, you'll have more granular detail as you get the raw vote totals in from all these states. That's one of the, our objectives is to basically compare what the vote is, and we, we, we see the vote by county, if you will. We see the results by county, and we overlay that with how the vote is coming in, and we do that to, number one, prove that our, the accuracy of our poll, improve it where needed, and help us make the call uh, for who has won the election in any individual it's state. It's going to be fascinating. I can't wait. There's a lot more questions, too, and that, that's what yeah, leads to all that. Very detailed. All the yeah. more information uh, that you guys are going to have. Arnon, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you guys.